Wakanda Forever. That's right, that is the sequel to Black Panther. But before we do that, go ahead and press like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell as well to notify you when a new review is posted. Thank you very much for choosing Man Cinema Reviews. The film details the events of King T'Challa's passing as the people of Wakanda are mourning their king's death. They are now being sought after for their vibranium from all elite forces, including a underwater civilization headed by Namor. So with that, son, what did you take away from the latest Black Panther sequel, the long-awaited sequel to this series? I like how it focuses on the first Black Panther's death. Yeah, so the passing of Chadwick Boseman was a, a big hit, not only to MCU fans, but just the fan of the series. And I think they do a good job as far as like montages of paying respect to uh, Chadwick Boseman's memory. Even like the Marvel um, logo before the movie starts, you know how it's usually like different uh, characters in the Avengers that, that play out? This time, instead of it being red, it's purple and it has all the different scenes of Chadwick Boseman playing um, Black Panther, King T'Challa. And I thought that was great. I, what do you think about the opening scene? I mean, it opens on his funeral. I like it. I like it. It's very somber, but then it also is a celebration of life. The people of Wakanda are not necessarily sad and, um, you know, mourning. They're also in celebration. They're doing tribal dances. And we've seen it in IMAX 3D, so we get to see a lot of the visuals really pop. Did you like the visuals in this film as well? We took my mom and my sister too. We did, that's right. And um, what else did you like about this film? I liked how they brought a new character in the film. Named? Namor. Namor. And that is played by a uh, newcomer, Tenoch Huerta, a uh, Mexican actor. I like the representation of the Latino community as well. And they're the people of the, the Talo, Tol, Tolocan. Uh, it's the underwater civilization that's after Vibranium as well. And so they're, the, he is the main baddie in this film. What did you think about Namor and uh, the underwater civilization? Mm -hmm. What was so weird about him? Do you remember a kind of features that he had? He had like little things on his head and, and he had wings on his head. That's right, that's right. And you know, he was also hard to fight, but it ain't the end and you had to fight him. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think about Letitia Wright kind of taking up the mantle for Black Panther? Did you, did you like her character as uh, Shuri taking up the mantle for Black Panther? I like the fact that this is a character that's not, you know, mourning a king, but also a brother. You know, it's really hard for her because she was there when he was f failing and, and ailing in, in his treatments. And the mother, too. She Angela Bassett, uh, uh, Queen Ramonda was, oh, she broke my heart. She was one of the best. I thought she was great uh, in the film. I think, of, I would say, Oscar worthy. Um, I think she takes up the mantle of, uh, of being the ruler of Wakanda and she does it well. Um, so we like the uh, characters, we like the, uh, the homage to uh, King T'Challa and the passing. Um, did you, what, is there anything that you disliked about this film? No. No? Uh, I will say that I think director Ryan Coogler comes back to uh, be at the helm. He's a great director. Uh, I've liked a, a lot, if not all, of his films. He's directed Creed. Uh, he directed Fruitvale Station and Black Panther. I think, you know, he doesn't miss. The only thing is, is when he steps into Marvel Cinematic Universe, he's got a lot of CGI. Do you think that a lot of the CGI worked in this film? Did you like the visuals? Do you think they popped? We saw it in the 3D uh, IMAX. 
I think so too. I think the uh, is one scene in particular uh, when they're uh, in pursuit, uh, where the car like flips over, and even um, Shuri is on the the motorcycle, and then there's like this big water explosion because the people of uh, Tolokan are uh, are after them, and then like mid like in the air, like you could see Shuri, you know, pop. I, I thought it would look pretty cool in the 3D IMAX. Did you did you like that? Um, the only thing is I don't think Ryan Coogler masters the CGI all the time. I think it works in some places and I think it doesn't work in other places. But other than that, I think it's great homage. I think if you like the first Black Panther, I think you're on board with it. It's got a great soundtrack too. I like the uh, you know representation of uh, Latino uh, Latinos in the, the film being the new civilization, the underwater civilization. And I think this is also... Um, uh, this is also tech for that. what's coming out. What you're looking forward to is uh, Avatar, uh, the sequel for Avatar, The Way of the Water. And we saw that in 3D IMAX for the, the trailer. That looks pretty cool. You, you look forward to that, right? At the end of this year? Around what time does it come this around? Christmas and my birthday. And your birthday, that's right. What would you rate Black Panther Wakanda Forever? We're rating it a four out of five? So what, what, what doesn't it give you the five, five star treatment? I mean, do you think that you think that this was uh, you think Black Adam was better than what kind of for? OK, but I mean, you could say the same thing about uh, Black Adam, right? You just did you like Black Adam better than? OK, well, I guess we got to agree to disagree because I actually think immensely this is way better than Black Adam. I was gonna give it a four with you as well. We would have been both on board, but I think a mid credit scene really changed the game for me. I think if I would have left the theater, I would have given it a four just like you, but I'm actually gonna give it a four and a half. A four and a half for me, I think it's nearly there, not quite there. I think the homage is great. Again, Ryan Coogler, not very a visual director, but I do like the sentimentality, and I think he's a great director. This is nearly perfect, and I will give this a four and a half. Are you going with four, or are you changing it to five? You're gonna stick with your four. Okay, so my son gives Wakanda Forever four, and I give it a four and a half, but what did you think about the film? Go ahead, leave your comments down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Go ahead, let them know. Bye. Bye.